Meet a man who goes up into the air twice as fast as anyone comes down. He'll shoot off when the hood's over his face. James Martin was the inventor of the ejector seat, born in Crossgar in County Down in 1893. He was determined that he didn't want to work for anyone else, he wanted to work for himself. A big turning point in his life was when he started taking flying lessons with Captain Valentine Baker and the two of them immediately struck up a rapport and became very firm friends and they actually decided to set up the company, the Martin Baker Aircraft Company. It was while testing military aircraft that Captain Valentine Baker was killed and James Martin was completely devastated by this and it really affected him. This really focused his mind on doing his best to create something that could prevent this from happening again. And it was in the autumn of 1944 that he started to work on pilot-assisted escape systems as they were initially called. That's 18 times the force of gravity, and even Bernard Lynch thinks that's going places. It was actually an Irishman called Bernard Lynch who volunteered to be the first um, test ejectee. He wasn't actually uh, a pilot, he was a fitter in Martin Baker um, Aircraft Company. He was actually the first live test ejectee in 1945, which must have been absolutely terrifying. Two airmen went out to a meteor jet aircraft. <laughs> It actually went so well that apparently where he landed was quite near a pub and he went in for a pint afterwards. So, I mean, <laughs> must have gone pretty well then. <laughs> Northern Ireland punches above its weight when it comes to the amount of skilled people that have come out of the country. And we just want to highlight that and James Martin certainly has contributed so much to aviation safety. Since they've been introduced, the Martin Baker ejection seats have saved over 7,600 lives, which is incredible. Our airmen have a new and trusted friend. <laughs>